they all have happened right after a conference court. Um, I kind of like before the face off, just envision myself going down and getting, getting the points, you know, not only possession, but um, definitely that uh, getting those points, like wanting, envision getting those points uh, really motivates me to come down and, and uh, get the momentum for our team, get the momentum up, and I think it helps us a lot. Alex, do you always have the green light to shoot? Uh, or is it more of a case by case scenario? Sometimes, I guess. If it's open, if, if I, there's a long pull on me and, and uh, he's pressuring pretty good, coach will probably call a timeout. But uh, so far this season, he's uh, he's let he's let me take it to the to the goal. How much do you appreciate? Oh uh, yeah, like because there's been there's been uh, a couple of times you know in my career where coaches have called out timeouts where I think that I could have um, gone to the goal. So I well, think it's pretty cool. I, I, you know, retrospect, hindsight being 2020, can you flip back and think about how critical it was for you? to assist on one goal and support two of them right after offensive score goal? What was the question again? Sorry. Can you think about how critical it was for you to assist on one goal and score two of them right after? Right, I mean, that's, I think that's the most points I've ever had in the game. Um, I, mean, I think it was, it was a big uh, turning point because, you know, facial guys don't really score that often. So I think it's a big, uh, it's a little bit more, more momentum than usual when, when um, I come down and score. Josh, can you talk about the defense in front of you and how you guys are able to shut down that foot attack in the field? Well, we had a whole week to prepare. Um, and we, I got to give it to the scout um, offense this week. They really gave us good looks in, term, in terms of uh, you know, what Hopkins was going to bring today. Um, so we just stuck to the scouting report, um, stayed patient. Um, we'll just, I think we, we really clicked today. You know, we were just really feeling it together. Um, you know, with we're all going down, scoring the goals, we could feel the momentum swing um, our way, and just we just ran with it. Josh, can you talk about how, how does it feel to help play um, Joe Logan there? I was playing my game. Um, I don't really see this competition between me and another uh, goalie. You know, I'm just I'm doing it for the guys down at the other end who are doing it for us. You know, it's a team effort, and um, you know, I don't really see this personal competition between me and another goalie. It's, it's uh, me versus the ball, really. Uh, from your perspective, how big is it to have a new guy face off X playing getting your offense possession, uh, especially this team like Hopkins that uh, has some guys? It's huge. It's really big. Um, you know, possessions, you sometimes end with me with letting a goal in, but they always start with him. So to get, you know, for him to pick up where we might have, you know, uh, slacked off and win a few, bring it down to their end. And, Kind of take the weight off our shoulders was huge. Josh, there was a sequence where um, I think one, there, Kieran Eisler had a, had a chance right on the doorstep. He stoned him with a stick, and then a little bit after that, John <coughs> had a shot from eight yards out. You blocked it. Just how long was it for you to, to make both of those saves? Do you um, think that gave the team some of Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, you know, definitely uh, I could feel the momentum swings with, with each shot. Um, you know, but I didn't get too wrapped up in it. You know, these, we had to respect them. They're a great team. Um, and we just had to focus on clearing it after I stopped it. So once we got it down and settled into the offensive end, you know, we could feel sort of a weight off our shoulders and then talk and discuss what we needed to improve on. Because each possession, you know, we there was always something to improve on. So we didn't get too caught up in the save or the stop um, and just continue to focus and help in on what needed to be uh, corrected. Joe, can you talk about the four goals for you today? I guess Hopkins would have been too. Uh, I mean, doing that well in any game is pretty special, individual and level. But um, especially coming off a, a poor game on my part against Loyola, it was huge. I think from for myself to just realize that I can still shoot the ball the way I want to, um, and that comes with extra work, focusing on the fundamentals, practice, everything like that. So it was it was pretty special, especially my senior year, the last time playing Hopkins. That performance on the heels of you dealing with this hip injury, how much is that sort of dissipated? you feel like that was your way of announcing that it's not that much of a problem? Yeah, I mean, I, I, mean, I, don't, I don't think it's going to hinder me too much. I mean, I'll play my game the way I need to play it. If it's dodging, if it's shooting, if it's being off ball, setting picks, um, whatever I need to do, whatever the coach wants me to do, that's, that's how I'm going to play. So today it was to shoot the ball and, and play off ball what I need to do. Okay. Uh, 
And how about the, your 100 career goal? How much of an accomplishment is that for you? It's pretty special. I mean, uh, our, our program <coughs> is so historic. Um, there's so many guys on that list that are just so special players. And just to be a part of that, getting 100 career goals is it's, it's a very humbling experience, very honoring, um, especially a program like this. It was uh, controlling possession of the boss beat for today's game. Um, I think at one point we counted it was eight. Uh, so we're pretty into the like yeah. that, But it seemed like playing offense, playing offense, controlling the ball was the, the defense strength. But how hard was that in the season? Um, I mean, I think if you look back on the past couple of games, we've been pretty lackluster with the ball and we've been throwing it around, had more turnovers than we've we've had in the past three years. I mean, we, we've just been not careful. And then um, I think this whole week has just been be patient. The Hopkins defense will, will be, they'll be aggressive. They're, they're great defense, but if we're patient with the ball, things will open up and we just go back to scouting and, and stuff like that. And being patient with our offense, it leads to goals, as you can see on the field. So. Um, I mean, we really, we really listen to Coach Gillardy and what he says about being patient and making the smart play and doing one sixth of your part. Further questions for student athletes? <coughs> you guys can see Proud of our team. Um, thought it was a great effort from Monday's practice all the way through uh, for our players, understanding kind of what it took for us to, to put more of a complete game together. And that's really what I asked of our team uh, kind of all week in practice, and especially um, today as we were talking before we head out on the field, is that we, were, we weren't playing well as a team, you know, and I think we knew that. Uh, so we wanted to play as, as best we could today, you know, uh, put a complete game together as, as far as we are in the season so far. And um, you know, I think that we were able to do that. And fortunately, it, it culminated in a win against a very tough team. Could you, 37 shots, uh, one 32 ground balls, one 16 to 25 face-offs. How big was it kind of, was that a key for you keep them on their heels most of the game as far as possession and you were attacking them? Well, that's our mindset in any game. We want to attack right off the bat. Um, you know, once, especially once we get the ball, you know, even from the defensive end to the offensive end, uh, off the faceoff, we want to, obviously we want to push and, and be aggressive as much as we can, and, but also smart and poised with the ball. So, um, yeah, we wanted to, to put pressure on them, make them defend us. And uh, our guys, I think, did a good job of doing that and, um, you know, handling their quick slides or, or no slides or, or double teams if and when, you know, that, that happened. So I thought our guys did a good job of that. Uh, Coach Pete, Ryan Turner went three for seven today, and Joe Sire goes four for seven. You know, you know, great street percentages. How important was it for you to see that today, not just for the win, but just for those guys that think to start shooting? Yeah, Ryan's fairly consistent. I mean, you know. Um, just seeing him in practice, obviously, every day in, in games. He's pretty consistent with um, what he does on the field. Joe, uh, as he said, I think that's big for him, confidence-wise, being able to, to come out and have a pretty good day shooting the ball. It was big for our team, obviously. You know, he gets the, uh, the first one, and he gets you know, one off the break and a couple more. Um, you know, so, uh, again, getting Joe in action early, having him have success, I think helped us out uh, and helped him out during the game and, and be able to Build that confidence during the game and, and feel uh, like he could shoot and, and know that you know the ball is going to be on cage as best as possible. Coach, they got a lot of weapons in the midfield and the attack. What was the key for you defensively to kind of shut them down? Uh, just the be smart and play team defense. That's that's what we're all about. Uh, we understood it, and again, they they have a lot of weapons, a lot of a lot of different people they can throw at you. So the scouting report was a little thicker than than normal with regards to their personnel, um, but. It, we're pretty confident in all of our guys out there, our top defensive midfield unit with our close guys, that we could you know, defend against those guys individually in regards to an on-ball matchup, but also know how we needed to support off-ball with that. Um, and I think with our guys and in the way they played today, aggressive, but still pretty disciplined, um, it was good to see that out of our team against it. Um, obviously a very skilled and uh, deep offense that Hopkins has. 
Sean, how critical was Alex's play um, in terms of responding to every goal and other goal or assist? That was massive today. Um, yeah. As you guys know, covering lacrosse, <laughs> the, the game of runs is what the game's about. So being able to stall and, and stop their, their runs when they scored, Alex was able to you know, get the ball and score, get the ball to our offensive end and be able to kind of stop the bleeding potentially from, you know, from that end. And it was big momentum wise, you know, it, it stops their momentum, you know, shifts momentum into our favor. And he was able to, to be very efficient at the X, which we were hoping to have today, knowing that, you know, obviously the, the weapon that Hopkins across is coming in, if we could have a little bit more of an advantage in possession time and, and opportunities and obviously executing and capitalizing on those opportunities is, is what we were uh, really wanting to be about today. Further questions for Coach? Coach, how has Alex just been in quick the team this year? I, I mean, it wasn't something that um, he didn't come in with the free flash for the offseason. The position that he wanted to improve. And just how has he been with, with the team so far this year? And is, are you, this is the guy that you expect to be well with him? Um, honestly, I didn't know what I knew. He was a really good face-off guy, um, but I didn't know him too much as a person. Uh, we recruited him a little bit, not a ton. Uh, he, he played club lacrosse uh, in high school lacrosse with some of the guys on the team, um, and knew guys just from playing lacrosse in Maryland. So he he knew some people on the pro, in the program prior to. So I think his acclimation um, didn't take too long. He's, he's a very um, uh, very easy kid to get along with. You know, from the guys on our team to the coaching staff, he's very respectful, uh, very understanding uh, to our um, you know, weight room and academic and athletic training people. You know, everybody loves him. You know, they uh, jokingly, when he came in for his physicals and stuff, they're like, who's this 40-year-old joining the <laughs> men's cross team? You know, he's only a sophomore, but he, as you can see, he looks older than, than most uh, sophomores in, in college. But um, he's just, he's a good kid, you know, and he wants, he works hard, he does that. Uh, the guys respond to that. Obviously, they love what he does on the field. He competes for them and uh, takes it personal when he doesn't do well. And I think that's something that um, coincides with our program. You know, he wants to be successful for his teammates. And that, you know, that translated very well into our program so far. And the guys are, you know, very supportive of him. What is it about this technique that makes him so successful? Size is a dangerous combination. Um, obviously, his size is, you can see it. You know, he steps into the weight room in the fall and he bench presses over 400 pounds. He squats over 400 pounds. So he's got great power plus hand speed. I think that's, you know, that's a dangerous combination. You know, and he's continuing to try to refine his craft. And, and, you know, we have conversations all the time in regards to, you know, what he does and how we can make it better. And the other face off guys. Um, chime in as well. And, you know, everybody. That's the neat thing. We have five guys, and that they're trying to make each other better and compete. And they know that Alex is the number one guy right now. But you know, they're getting better by going against him, and he's getting better by going against them. Coach, who works with them? Excuse me. Who works with them? Uh, co coaching line on the piece of I do. The yeah. Piece of I'm not taking credit for it. Believe me. <laughs> you know, he's. You know, again, those guys are skilled. They're talented. You know, I do as much as I can. But those guys, you know, they put the effort into it, and they. They know what they're doing when they get out there. We, you know, I do as much as I can, you know, with my knowledge base. But um, they ch they challenge me, which is good, you know, as a coach to try to figure out how I can help them get better. Um, but you know, at that position, I think talent is a is a big piece to it. Sean, was this Josh's best game? Yeah, um, I would. Yeah, I would say so. Um, yeah, I mean, I think it was the third quarter, right, where he made a couple of those. Um, Quick turnover on our offensive end, or, or scrums in the middle of the field, ball coming down, and those are the types of goals that when they go, you know, they go against you, really sways momentum and, and can get a team back into a game uh, where you have a little bit of a cushion. But Josh shut the door on those, um, where it was huge. I mean, those those opportunities were huge. Um, you know, so I thought he was he was really dialed in on that. Uh, I wasn't happy. I think it was the first one with Crowley um, coming up from underneath. Uh, he came off his pipe and scored near side. And, you know, something that you see on film a lot that, you know, from John uh, and how he shoots the ball. So I was, I was a little frustrated there, wondering kind of where that was going to lead. But he, he definitely, Josh, answered the bell and 
um, responded and, and gave the defense a lot of confidence by closing the door on some of those transition looks, but also being pretty consistent in, in six on six. And with Joe reaching the 100 goal bar, can you just sort of contemplate what his meant for him? Uh, Joe you know, was a pretty regarded recruit um, coming out of high school uh, from a public, you know, Maryland, Maryland public school up in Hereford, had a lot of success. Um, we obviously worked hard to, to bring him in, and we're very fortunate for that. He's been a very big contributor of our team, um, you know, over his career. But you know, the thing with Joe is that you know he can create, but you know a lot of other guys help him get to that point as well. So there's a, I think it's a credit to our offense, a credit to Coach Gillardi, what he does with our guys, um, and making sure that everybody's involved. And Joe, you know, gets to capitalize on a lot of it, but he also gets to to create. He's grown his game. You know, he came in as a, a big righty shooter, couldn't really move too well. He had a left-handed goal today, you know, gets a couple from the outside. And, um, you know, we need him to continue to be consistent. You know, and I know he was frustrated after that Loyola game. He could barely move in the UMBC game, but as a competitive kid, he got back out there, got us a, you know, a pretty nice goal in that game. By, you know, he could hardly move and giving him a week to prepare and get healthy was, was nice. It's, uh, a nice outcome today. Further questions? Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Thanks.